I'm up here uh, today in our stock room and I just wanted to take you through all our X20 stock and we have a really nice selection of X20s in, the, in their various different forms. Six strings, I uh, have a really nice custom one that I'm going to tell you about in the middle here and we have some left handed X20s, we have uh, five seven string X20s, a couple of baritones and, uh, and six uh, X20 12 strings. So really, really great selection that shows the X20 in all its different forms. So uh, if I just show you uh, the X20 and tell you a little bit about it, that was uh, one of the, the sort of really um, key guitars in the, in the history of Emerald Guitars in that this was the first guitar that I designed from the ground up really trying to showcase all the different benefits of carbon fiber and, and our design approach. Really started to look at the ergonomics and uh, really um, focused on not really thinking about tradition but finding just a different way to build a guitar. And it's, it's been our best seller since. So if I show you the back, one of the main things that, that people don't maybe often see but really can feel is uh, the way this, um, this side is is formed. Whenever you normally have a straight side here, uh, it uh, it doesn't quite sit right in your leg. But we've got we've twisted the angle on the side of the guitar here, so it sits perfectly whenever you're you're playing. You normally play with the guitar sitting at an angle, so that uh, that curve just fits with your leg perfectly. Um, we've also got this nice sculpted back that's got sort of like a a violin kind of style uh, sculpting on the back. Uh, we've got the arm bevel here. We've got an extra bevel here to give you higher access up the fretboard and uh, and then that offset sound hole. It was the first time that we used this sound hole design and uh, that's really become our signature ever since. So the X20 has been our, our best selling guitar for the last, I guess the last eight years and, uh, and you can see why. Uh, great sounding guitar, um, size wise it's really great. Uh, sound wise it's uh, really nicely balanced. A good amount of bass, but also has great uh, balance in the other registers between treble and mids as well. So, uh, so the first one I'm going to show you here is uh, is this straight black carbon fiber one. It just is um, shows exactly what the materials are made of. You know, a lot of people just love the black carbon fiber by itself, and uh, shows off all the materials that are that are right inside your guitar. And uh, next one. It's also black carbon fiber on the back and sides, but uh, this one has a Royal Ebony veneer fused to the top. So uh, we put these veneers into the carbon fiber uh, during the molding process, so the resin under vacuum uh, sucks right into all the pores of the wood and really fuses it together, making it entirely one piece with the, uh, with the carbon fiber laminate. So you get all the structure of the uh, carbon fiber but you get the beauty, the natural beauty of an exotic wood. And um, you know, we, we look for really the most interesting veneers we can find. Uh, and this is probably one of the nicest. Uh, this is Royal Ebony, a really incredible piece of Royal Ebony that uh, has this beautiful quilting going on in it. We often see the, the black markings in the Royal Ebony, uh, this pattern detail, but uh, it's very rare to find it with the, the uh, uh, the flame and quilting that's going on on this one. So really exceptional guitar. Um, this I think isn't actually listed on our website just yet, but uh, you can find it directly from us. Next one up is, uh, uh, this is kind of one of our standards. This is like a, an old favorite. Uh, the X20 Quilted Maple Vintage Amber. And uh, we love um, the Quilted Maple and uh, I think the X20 with the Vintage Amber Burst just works really well. Uh, it's, uh, it's a favorite from our painter. Uh, he uh, actually has a Vintage Amber X20 himself, exactly like this. So uh, he takes great pride in painting them that way. Uh, next one up is, um, oh, what is this one actually, I've forgotten, Cosipo forgot the name for a second. Uh, Cosipo has uh, got this beautiful dark brown color, um, really interesting lines going through it and markings, and uh, has a, a beautiful kind of a holographic depth to it as well. Um, really, really attractive, really eye-catching veneer. Uh, finished with the golden amber on the back and sides, uh, so it matches really well with the top. 
Next up is a, a real strong favorite. This is Candy Stripe Paduk. And uh, you can see why it's called Candy Stripe. It's got these reds and lighter colored woods and uh, beautiful striping. This one uh, I really like because it's got so many stripes on it. Um, you can see the, the lighter wood is actually appearing right out here on the edges as well. So uh, all those bands, incredible vibrant color. Uh, the reds, uh, the browns, br the blacks, there's so many different various uh, lines of color that run through it. Just really, really eye-catching guitar. And uh, red carbon on the back and sides to match. Next up is a, another Royal Ebony. Um, this one, it, uh, it doesn't have the uh, quilting of the previous one, but has a really eye-catching pattern. Um, you know, this big bold pattern going on, but also with an awful lot of detail. It's got this uh, spalting that's running right down through here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's got a lot of character even in the lighter wood. Um, sometimes the, the light wood sections are just totally plain, but this one has the, the bold blacks and then a light wood with character and detail mixed right through it. So a uh, lot going on there. Black carbon back and sides. Next one is uh, an X20 with, um, or a copper burst. Uh, the copper is more like a, a browner kind of tinge than uh, like on the vintage amber, um, but also really highlights the, uh, the quilted maple really well. Um, it's got those more kind of browner earthy tones and uh, and then similar then we've done on the back and sides with that same burst. Now this one, um, this is a guitar that I think probably it will show up much better in, uh, in video than it might do in photograph because it's got a lot of very subtle detail. It's, um, this is uh, maple burl a uh, really unusual burl it's got some really nice quilting on it uh, we've finished it with a dark blue over the top and um, it, uh, it it subdues it but also it gives it uh, just a lot of depth it's almost like a marble finish right down through it you know if you look at it from a distance it just looks blue and then you get in there and you realize actually there's a whole lot more going on inside there so um, really elegant uh, quite you know understated but with an awful lot of nice detail going on and then mixed with a, a blue on the back and sides. So I told you there's a, a really cool custom in the middle of this. And uh, this one has a great story behind it. Uh, this was a guitar that was painted in Tibet at, uh, at an art school run by a friend of mine, Crystal. And uh, the art school, they take in uh, nomadic um, kids teach them how to be incredible artists and it's just a, an incredible place. I managed to visit there a few years ago when I was having a guitar hand painted uh, there for, for another customer, a nine string, so you can maybe check that out in our custom section. Um, but uh, they were trying to raise some funds a little while ago, um, so we sent them this guitar and they, the students painted it. Each student painted a different section, uh, so they've all put their, their signature work on here. Um, and we've always been meaning to get this auctioned to, to raise money for them. Every penny from this guitar will go directly to the school. Um, we just never managed to find the right moment to, to do that. Um, but uh, we're going to put that online now and get that moving. So if you want something that's just got so much uh, detail and character and a story that's helping some incredible kids uh, in the Amdo Art Project, Make sure to go and check that out. You can find them, I think, in Amdo Art um, on Facebook. So, uh, as you can see, runs right through the, the back of the neck and down the side. And the concept, I just gave them a guitar. I told them, you know, come up with a concept. And what they did was uh, they wanted to use some Irish uh, Celtic knotwork uh, and use the colors of the Irish flag. So it's got that Irish and Tibetan theme. Um, so I, it's, it's really special. Definitely, I uh, hope we can find a nice home for that one. Next up is a, a custom X20. Um, I was uh, was building some customs recently and decided to, to do one just for stock. Normally we do these just for custom orders, but uh, so I built this one. Um, it's a, a fan fret X20. And I've given it the pinless bridge. Uh, I've also given it a slotted headstock. So just really to kind of showcase 
um, some of the custom options that we can do on our X20. And uh, the slotted headstock is normally found on our nylon guitars, but it's a really nice feature on a, on a custom X20. And uh, finished in red carbon, and uh, definitely a, a really eye-catching guitar. So if you're looking for something a little bit special on an X20, then that might be a good choice for you. Now coming to the end of our six strings, uh, we have the uh, carbon finish and just in straight amber as well. Uh, all around the amber and then X20 red. I think possibly uh, in our carbon colors maybe the X20 red is our, uh, our most popular and uh, the red just really uh, pops. Um, it's quite vibrant looking, uh, really nice looking guitar. So in the theme of the red, uh, then we go into the lefties. So the X20 is the only model that we do as a left-handed guitar and uh, it's the only one we've managed to build a mold for. It's, uh, it's a lot of work to build a mold and unfortunately there isn't as much demand for left-handed guitars. But uh, what it allows us to do with that mold is build any of our variations. We can do a customized uh, 12 string or baritone or nylon all on that X20 mold and the left-handed mold. So uh, that's the left-handed, uh, just the exact same as our right-handed. So just a mirror image. So uh, we uh, we replicated the the design exactly back to front, which actually isn't as easy as you might think. Um, it's quite hard to to sculpt something and, and do it the other way around. Um, this one is redwood burl, and a really nice piece of redwood burl it is actually. Um, I really like the the detailing that's going on here. I love this detail that runs right across onto the fretboard and uh, kind of flows up into the heel here. So uh, also with the amber back and sides. And then we've got green carbon. We always have to have a few green guitars available in the Amber Guitar Company. And uh, the, the green, I think, really uh, pops on carbon fiber. It's probably one of the brightest uh, colors with the carbon finish. Now, so as I said, the X20 has been really great for us in variations. So uh, it's allowed us to build all types of uh, different customs um, on the X20 platform. And one of the things we found was the best with it was building a 12 string version. So um, most of our 12 strings we build are on the X20. And uh, it's really, it's down to the body size, the structure, uh, the, the structural integrity of it. A lot of things that just make this a really, really great 12 string. Um, really great balance sound. Uh, it's got a good solid bass, but also really punchy in the mid range uh, and bright sparkly trebles that you really want in a 12 string voice. Um, this one is, uh, is Koa. Uh, beautiful Koa, beautiful coloring and uh, some lovely flame running at the, in the center. Um, really eye catching guitar. Uh, finished with uh, amber back and sides. And we've got uh, another uh, quilted maple 12 string and uh, again with the copper finish like we've already covered and uh, with that uh, copper back and sides. And we've got the, the blue carbon, so a uh, straight carbon fiber finish with the blue transparent. Black carbon fiber. Then we've got red quilted maple. Uh, I often talk about just how great quality uh, quilted maple we have. Beautiful red finish on this. It really just makes the the uh, the quilted maple pop. And uh, and then this one is um, a figured mahogany. Beautiful, beautiful figurine on this. Um, it's uh, it's almost got like a flame that runs right the way through it, uh, and it's like got this weird pattern that almost looks like patchwork. It's uh, you can kind of see it subtly going on here. These little lines and uh, beautiful amber color. Um, you know that golden amber finish, uh, amber back and sides. Uh, that's a really beautiful twelve string, and uh, again with the same on the headstock matching. 
So then we've got a couple of baritone guitars. Uh, we don't build a lot of baritones, um, but uh, we, we do love building them when they go down really well. Uh, it's a baritone with a 27 inch scale, so it's not a super long scale, so it, uh, it allows it to be very playable. Um, we haven't actually increased the neck. We've moved the bridge a little bit further back and uh, it gives you your uh, body joint at the 13th fret rather than the 14th. Uh, what it does is it means that it's you don't have to stretch on your left arm too much uh, but still get those nice lower notes and um, it's also got a little bit lower tension because it's a 27 inch baritone um, so it got that beautiful low deep sound uh, the X20 with the offset sound hole really produces that baritone sound really well um, this one features um, flamed uh, maple beautiful piece of flame maple really wide flame in this um, and on the green, I think it really pops. You can really see a lot of movement and uh, very attractive. And carbon back and sides. And then another green baritone, and this is just the straight carbon. So if you prefer just the, the carbon fiber finish, uh, there's another nice baritone. So normally we'd have more baritones in stock than that, but uh, that's all we've got at the moment. So, seven strings. So, seven strings are something of a, a unique guitar, especially in the acoustic world. Uh, but uh, we've built quite a number of them over the year, uh, over the years. The very first one I ever built was actually for Steve Vai. I uh, was very proud that, uh, that he actually took it and used it on an album many years back. Uh, and that sparked my attention, my interest in them, and ever since we've been building them. It's the only guitar in our, in our range that we do as standard with fan frets. Uh, reason for that is that when you have the lower B, it just really helps to have that longer scale length. Uh, so fan frets just work incredibly well for, uh, for a seven string. So it's a seven string, it's got the regular six and extra low B here. Um, the scale length here is 27 on the bass side and uh, 25 half and a half on the treble side. So, um, so it really helps with the, the overall tonality of, tonality of the instrument. Uh, keeps intonation good, uh, gives a good punchy sound. Um, so you've got a really punchy bottom end and uh, without having too much tension right up into the trebles. Um, this one is featured with uh, the quilted maple with the vintage amber burst. Uh, I think that just really shows it off in a beautiful way. Amber back and sides. Next one is, uh, is blue carbon. So uh, same exact, same configuration, just with the uh, blue carbon fiber. We've got uh, green carbon. We have amber. And we have a black to finish it off. Nice and that straight black carbon fiber. Um, for quite a while I used to have a picture of me holding a black seven string as my profile, profile picture. So uh, I think that's a really great looking guitar. So that's it for the X20. We also do the X20 in nylon string. Uh, we don't have any of them actually in stock. I know we're finishing one off um, in the very near future. It's going through uh, paint um, in the next couple of days, I think. Um, so. Uh, we, uh, we also can customize your X20 in many different ways. It's probably the most customized guitar that we've ever had. Uh, we, we do it for a lot of different custom platforms. We've done it in seven string, eight string, nine string, 10 string, 11, 12, 14, you name it. We've done all kinds of configurations on the X20. So, uh, so if you're interested in a custom build, uh, definitely talk to us about a custom build on an X20. If you're interested in any of our stock guitars and you'd like more information, Send an email to uh, sales at emeraldguitars.com. Uh, talk to Kevin and Chloe. Uh, drop us a line through our website. Uh, you can also just give us a call. You'll find our, we our, um, uh, our phone number on our, e on our website at uh, emeraldguitars.com. So uh, hopefully you get in touch. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing the X20s and maybe there's one in there that's just right for you. Thank you and see you soon.